Welcome back everybody, this is Bill Knapp, your local Denver realtor, coming to you today to discuss one of my favorite neighborhoods in the Denver metro area, which is also a top rated neighborhood for Denver. So stick around, I will unpack all of that coming up next. So today, my favorite neighborhood, or at least one of my favorite neighborhoods for the Denver metro area is going to be Greenwood Village. And the reason I bring this up is because it is a top five rated neighborhood for the entire state of Colorado due to a variety of reasons, which I will quickly highlight and touch on to hopefully give you an idea of what you can expect if you're looking to move here. If you're unfamiliar where Greenwood Village is located, it's actually across uh, the I-25 highway on both sides. And it's a unique, unusual shape, which encompasses this is a couple of school districts, but what's really, really great about this neighborhood, and I think one of the contributing factors to why it is so highly desirable, is because it is super diverse in its living and its lifestyle. This is like a hub for everything business, commercial, residential. It is literally like the meeting area for a lot of things located between Denver, Colorado and Colorado Springs. What's really great about this area is it offers a mix of lifestyle preferences, so it appeals to a wide amount of people looking to move into the area. So for example, if you wanna have urban city living, that is available in Greenwood Village. If you're looking for more of a suburban feel, more of like a neighborhoody tree-lined street feeling, that is also in Greenwood Village, which makes it highly attractive to so many people. Plus, because of the way it's situated with all these unique commercial and residential places located relatively close to each other, but just far enough apart, the walkability score or the opportunity to drive just a short distance of a mile or two is very attractive because you can have the best of both worlds and a nice location right in the central area for the Denver Metro. Two of my favorite locations inside of Greenwood Village would have to be the Denver Tech Center for the first one, primarily because this is where one of my offices is located, which makes it nice and convenient for work. Also, it is filled with a bunch of top tier dining locations, and it is a hub for business people coming in and visiting the area. So whenever a lot of uh, different companies will bring some of their clients in or bring some of their out of state uh, employees, it's not uncommon that they will come into DIA and come come and stay at the Denver Tech Center, which is all things for a different bunch of businesses. While in the Denver Business Center, you can take your pick of fine dining from places like Shanahan's, Morton's, Ruth Chris, and Ocean Prime, or you can go a little bit more unique like Yaya's Bistro. And if you are there as a living resident, it's one of the few areas that has nightlife in an urban and suburban setting, unlike a lot of the surrounding neighborhoods while being outside of the city. So it creates kind of like this Goldilocks zone where a lot of people have a little bit of both worlds, which is super attractive. Yet again, lending to the reason why it is a top five city in the state of Colorado. Across the highway from the Denver Tech Center is an area called the Landmark. And this is a really fantastic area, not only for going to see like comedy clubs and nightlife with bars or getting a fancy haircut at Scissors and Scotch, it is also a place where some of the high-end townhomes and condos are located with two big towers on the south side of the, uh, of the landmark location. The penthouses of these locations are absolutely phenomenal and I'll get into those a little bit later. Also at Landmark is a handful of different dining options from upscale nice stuff to a little bit more relaxed. Hapa Sushi is there right next to Jing, right across from Slattery's, which gives you like this amazing, sort of take your pick of whatever kind of venture you wanna go into. Plus parking is super easy and for the most part it's free. Sometimes they charge depending on seasonality but it is a great spot to go hang out if you're not wanting to go all the way up into the downtown Denver area. Also in Greenwood Village is number two pick for me of favorite outdoor venues in the state of Colorado for live music, and that's gonna be Fiddler's Green, which is an amazing venue if you have not been there before. The stage actually faces to the east, so you can look over the stage and see towards the west, which is kind of awesome if you're able to get some of those mountain views higher up on the lawn. The open air atmosphere is incredible because you are surrounded by the city lights and the city living with all the buildings on either side of the amphitheater. And it's easy parking, so you can go hang out at like Pindustry beforehand or another local nearby bar just to tailgate and have a good evening. Unrelated to the more like city style living in Greenwood Village, there are also a vast amount of parks and trails with my number one pick for local trails being the Highline Canal. It's where my wife and I both 
both used to train when we were doing our half marathon races. It's nice, it's actually level and flat, which is a rare thing in Colorado because of our rolling topography. And it extends for miles, miles. You can get on that trail for a long, long time and have a, just an incredible experience with flat terrain. It's covered over with trees for the most part. It's just an amazing area, especially being in such a centrally located city suburban area. Aside from all of that, the Greenwood Village area also has a very quaint and sort of small town feel to it, depending on some of the micro centers that you can go into. There are pockets of commercial locations, which include like micro bars, or if you want to find as yourself a unique bistro or a coffee house, you can go there, hang out. It's very quaint. It's perfect for hanging out with friends, relatives, and clients. And it's out of the way of all the hustle and bustle. So you can just chill and relax and still be moments away from something a lot more energetic if you want it just further reinforcing that Goldilocks zone like I was referencing. Now, aside from the lifestyle, I wanna revisit the fact that this place is perfectly located. The Greenwood Village is pretty much optimally located just between downtown Denver and Castle Rock, or the outlets at Castle Rock, which puts it in a great location for all types of commuters. So for your general reference, when looking at a map, Greenwood Village is located roughly 20 to 30 minutes from almost everything, including Downtown Denver, which is about 25 minutes away. Cherry Creek, which is 20 to 25 minutes away, given or take, depending on the traffic. Denver International Airport's only 30 minutes away. The outlets at Castle Rock are about 25 minutes away. Park Meadows Mall is only about five to 10 minutes away, which makes it super attractive for the area. Red Rocks is only 45 minutes away. And if you have to go up to Boulder, you're looking at about a 45 minute drive or so to hour. So you can literally live outside of Boulder and Broomfield, Wheat Ridge, Arvada, and still have an easy commute down into the tech center, give or take, depending on when the traffic is heaviest. Also nearby are two different reservoirs that we have in the Denver metro area. The closest being Cherry Creek Reservoir, which is about five minutes or so to the east of Greenwood Village. And then you also have Chatfield Reservoir, which is about 15 minutes or so down towards the southwest which further enhances the lifestyle that I was describing for this location. Another great feature that lends really nicely to the Greenwood Village area, if you happen to have kids or you're thinking about having kids, the school zone for the Greenwood Village area is fantastic because it's split between two different school zones, one being Cherry Creek and the other being Littleton School Districts, both of which are top tier schools and both of which I just learned recently pay quite nicely among the highest for teaching and teaching staff that are moving into the area. So if you're an educator and looking for a job, these are excellent opportunities in the school district. And if you are a parent with kiddos, the schools here are fantastic, not only from the scholastics, but the extracurricular curriculum is amazing for all the different offerings that they have and the well-roundedness of the different schools. The success rate based on niche.com shows it as being an A+. And if you go to greatschools.org, you'll see that there are a wider range of various schools, which is not only good for the students, it's also good for the homeowners because good school districts lend to good return on investment for the properties when they're purchased in here. So if you're looking to acquire a property, chances are very, very strong that your return on investment will be quite nice. Now, I'm guessing you're thinking, what do the houses look like for this location? Everything else sounds really amazing. The lifestyle sounds good. The location sounds good. The schools are great. I can do basically whatever I want. What does the living look like? Well, good news and bad news. The living is fantastic. There's everything from single condos to townhomes to single family homes to high-end luxury homes. The downside is, it's very, very expensive. So this would be a little bit of a benefit of living in Greenwood Village and also a drawback for looking at the Greenwood Village location. You can pretty much get into a condo and a townhome comfortably and affordably, and I will break all these down in a separate video for the cost of living, but for your high level reference, to get into a condo as of today, shooting this video, you're looking at about $440,000 just for a condo being probably a one bed and one bath, 400 to 500 square foot unit. If you're looking for a townhome with two beds to two baths, you're gonna be paying in the range beginning of about $550,000. And if you're looking for a single family residence, you can pull out that big wallet and get a nice size loan because the median home price to live in Greenwood Village starts at about 1.2 to $1.3 million for your entry level single family home. 
and from there it can only go up. There are homes that are completely extravagant and unique and eccentric that go for four, five, and eight million dollars plus. All those prices, all those homes and styles considered, it just lends the area to being a very amazing, diverse location, which draws crowds in from all over the place, not only from within the state of Colorado, but other adjoining states. Another drawback, or at least the thing to consider for Greenwood Village, if you're considering a move here, will be the traffic and congestion. To get into Greenwood Village, the primary access route will be I-25, the major highway that bisects the majority of the Denver metro area. On either side, you'll have some of the major side roads, but with all the people coming in, not only from Denver and coming up from Colorado Springs or from other areas just south, east, and west, those side roads get pretty backed up. So for your reference, you're gonna to wanna to allow a little bit of extra time to get from A to B, depending on your morning commute, especially if you're in a residential neighborhood because those side roads do back up, especially in the winter when the snow gets a little bit thick. The municipalities are awesome about doing snow and snowplow clearing, but it can back up. So it's just a, a small caveat because you're so centrally located in the Denver metro area, traffic is gonna be a burden. And something else that goes hand in hand with traffic, unfortunately, will be air quality. When you have more cars, you have more exhaust. Some of the major uh, problems that impact air quality are particulate matter 2.5. The more cars on the road, the more of that that gets into the air, the lower the air quality. So that being said, air quality generally in the Greenwood Village area is rated as being fair to good, but there are less good days than compared to adjacent neighborhoods because of the amount of traffic and cars and buses that we have on the roadway. So not a major deterrent, it's just something to consider if you're an asthmatic or you're really concerned about air quality. Just wanna give you, you know, as much of the, uh, the good with the bad so you can have a balanced approach when considering this location. One one other thing to consider when moving into the Greenwood Village area, the cost of the housing will be high, the cost of living will also be high, kind of commiserate with the cost of the housing. So you get what you pay for when you move into this neighborhood, which is a blessing and a curse. For people that are a bit more, you know, in the 1% or higher, that's not such of a big deal, but if you are a commuting younger professional or in, you know, the, uh, the not quite that, that price category, this can be a bit of a stretch. So items to consider when moving in for cost of living, just for general reference, Daycare will definitely be higher. Cost of groceries is gonna be higher. Utilities will also be a bit higher than compared to the surrounding neighborhoods. Take into account also that you are located in a very mixed use location and you're gonna want that walkability to go from your place over to a place for dinner, maybe have a drink or hang out with friends after a concert. Your entertainment and flexible spending income per month might need to be a little bit higher because it's a, such an attractive location. It's super hard to avoid going into all these cool locations. There's so many tiny little pocket restaurants to try, great places for ice cream and donuts. It's very hard not to go experience the lifestyle while you're there. So having that added budget definitely is gonna be recommended when looking in Greenwood Village. So you take all those things into consideration. You have to ask yourself, should you live here? Should you consider living in Greenwood Village? My recommendation is if you are looking for homes that are a little bit larger, some nicer luxurious homes, most of the bigger homes will have bigger yards. Most of them will have bigger yards, not all of them. Then this could be a perfect fit for you just because it is super attractive for all the reasons I've already highlighted. If you're looking for something more of that city living without paying city living prices, believe it or not, Greenwood Village is a bit more affordable than downtown Denver. So what you would get in your condo or townhome will typically be a bit bigger than you would find downtown. So this could be a perfect fit for you if you're a, a young working professional or young couple, or you just wanna do the commute in and out of different areas. This is super desirable. So should you live here? Maybe. I really love the area. It's one of my favorites. And I say that because I do visit there quite often, not only for date nights with my wife, but also when I'm taking my kids out for special occasions. There's so many different restaurants. Me living in Highlands Ranch, it's just a quick 25 minute ride up the highway. There's nothing not to love about coming up there. So there you have it. Hopefully there was some information in here that was helpful to you. If I happen to say anything along the way that you liked, I'd really appreciate it if you consider hitting that like and subscribe button, maybe the bell notification so you can stay up to date every single time I release a new video. And if you have questions about anything, again, I am a licensed realtor here in Denver, Colorado. I'd love to see about setting up a Zoom chat or jumping on a quick call, see if I can help with your move either into the area from within the state or relocating from another area. Thanks as always for sticking around to the end and I'll see you all on the next one. Cheers.